Hey guys, I hope you're doing great today. Since ever I have published my first ever Kubernetes course on my YouTube channel, I thought that I should guide you and we can learn together how we can become a Kubestronaut in 2025. So the topic of today's discussion is that how we can become a Kubestronaut in 2025. So let's get started. So guys, if you're exploring about Kubernetes or if you are in the early stages of learning Kubernetes, you are at the right place. You have selected a great tool for your career. Kubernetes is one of the biggest open source DevOps project in the world right now. And yes, that is true. Kubernetes is one of the world's largest open source project and it is growing enormously. There are hundreds and thousands of developers who are contributing to this open source project. So if you are planning to get Kubernetes certified, you have made the right choice. So now if you're exploring about Kubernetes, you might have heard about Kubestronaut. Okay, Kubestronaut, N-A-U-T. The spelling is a bit tough. So Kubestronaut. Now what is a Kubestronaut? Stronaut. It is just like a space program of Kubernetes. No, it is not like that. If a person who is certified with all Kubernetes certifications, I mean, there are actually five Kubernetes certifications. So if you are holding all these certifications, you are a cube stronaut. Okay. So what are those five Kubernetes certifications? And is it really worth it to get Kubernetes certified? We are going to discuss it in this video. So guys, there are actually five K8 certification. K8 is the short form of Kubernetes. So first of all, it is totally your choice whether you want to start from the beginner to advanced level, or if you want to learn the advanced thing first, and then you can certify it and you can complete the easy certification. But I would recommend that we must follow the beginner certifications and then we gradually move towards the advanced certifications. So first of all, the most basic Kubernetes certifications are KCNA, okay, KCNA. And one more thing guys that all these certifications are actually given by and managed by the Linux Foundation. Okay, the Linux Foundation. So first of all, the first basic certification starts from KCNA, which stands for Kubernetes and Cloud Native Associate and Cloud Native Associate. So these are actually the associate certifications. Just like if you want to start with AWS, you have AWS Solutions Architect Associate and then you have AWS Solutions Architect Professional. So these are actually the associate certifications. And then we have the second one, KCSA, which stands for Kubernetes and Cloud Security Associate. After that, guys, we have the third and the most popular certification. Most of the guys start their Kubernetes certification journey with this certification, which is CKA, okay? Certified Kubernetes Administrator. Certified K8s Admin, okay? Administrator. And after that, if you are CK is certified, you can move with the fourth certification, which is CCAD. CCAD stands for Certified K8 Kubernetes Application Developer. And guys, the last one, and as per the Kubernetes experts, it is one of the toughest and literally hard certification, which is KCS. And this is our fifth, sorry, CKS, CKS Certified Kubernetes Security Specialist, okay, Specialist. All right, so these are actually the five Kubernetes certifications. And if you are holding 
all these certifications i mean if you are certified with all these certification you are a cube astronaut and guys literally it is one of the biggest career move for yourself if you are getting certified with all these kubernetes certifications because there are very few people now who are cube astronaut i mean they have completed all these kubernetes certification so for your convenience and making it easy for you if you are going to start your kubernetes certifications journey i would say that these two certifications are actually beginner okay beginner certifications and these are actually three certifications these are professional so if you want to clear your kubernetes basic concept then you can start with these two certifications kcna and kcsa these are two beginner level certifications and if you are ready to advance your kubernetes concept and with practical stuff then you are going to move with these three practical certifications and guess what guys these are actually practical exams you are going to be given a practical sandbox environment where you have to fix the issues or where you have to run something with cube control commands that's why i have already completed 80 plus cube ctl command and cube ctl cube control which is kubernetes cli plays a crucial role to manage our kubernetes cluster right so you have to learn cube control commands and you are going to be given the practical environment where you have to fix the issues where you have to practically solve the queries that you are assigned and then you are going to get certified with cka ccad and cks now talking about the pricing of these certifications these certifications are literally very costly so i was just exploring and the whole bundle of all these certification cost around 1645 us dollars okay and if you apply certain coupons then you can get up to 1100 us dollars because there are certain coupons that you can get and you can get a 30 percent maximum discount 30 percent maximum discount so after all it is still a very huge amount for people like from us from pakistan for the certification for the whole bundle so i would recommend that you can uh, gradually get certified instead of uh, getting the whole bundle for that amount you can start with each certification one by one that is that would be a great choice but uh, the most recommended way and you have to wait for that is actually getting from cyber monday deals cyber monday deals okay and these deals are uh, live in i think in november right in november black friday and cyber monday deals so in these deals you get around 50 percent more than 50 percent discount on each certification so my friends who got kubernetes certified actually bought all these bundles in cyber monday deals so they have waited for around one year and when these cyber monday deals and Black friday deals were active they bought the whole bundle since you have one year of time to complete your certifications therefore they bought the bundle in november and then they started preparing themselves and after two or three months they started uh, taking the exams of kubernetes and they got certified and recently one of my fellows got a huge i mean a great salary because he recently completed certified kubernetes admin certification so therefore guys if you want to span your if you want to expand your kubernetes skill set and if you want to get lucrative salary package you have to get kubernetes certified and don't worry guys devops movie has got your back and we are going to discuss each and every certification separately in our upcoming videos in our kubernetes playlist so if you have any other questions you can ask me in the comment section 
I wish that you become a cube astronaut in 2025 and make sure that you are going to set this as your target. So I will watch you in the next lecture of Kubernetes. Have a good one and bye.